Hello. And welcome to Textile Technical Insights. Some of the chemicals possess serious health hazards to the human beings and environment. These chemicals are regulated by an exclusive body called ECHA. ECHA, European Chemicals Agency is a regulatory agency of European Union. It is responsible for implementing and administering chemicals legislation. Some of the legislations of ECHA are REACH CLP BPR PIC WFD POPs Let's discuss one of the most important legislation of ECHA. Understanding REACH REACH legislation is known as Regulation EC No. 1907-2006 What is REACH? REACH stands for Registration, Evaluation, Authorization and Restriction of Chemicals. It entered into force on the 1st of June 2007. It is adopted to improve the protection of human health and the environment from the risks that can be posed by chemicals. REACH applies to all chemical substances, industrial chemicals, as well as everyday use chemicals. Example, soaps print on garments, paint on furniture and electrical appliances. Registration Registration is based on the one substance, one registration principle. Companies collect information on the properties and uses of the substances they manufacture or import above one ton a year. They also have to assess the hazards and potential risks presented by the substance. This information is communicated to ECHA through a registration dossier. Under REACH, there is no obligation to register substances in amounts below 1 ton a year. PPORD exemption PPORD stands for Product and Process Oriented Research and Development. Substances used above 1 ton a year for PPORD can also be exempted for a period of 5 years. To benefit from this exemption, a PPORD notification must be submitted to ECHA. Evaluation HA and the member states evaluate the information submitted by companies as per below points. Examination of testing proposals Compliance check of the dossiers Substance evaluation Examination of testing proposals submitted by registrants Registrants must submit a testing proposal if they intend to perform a new test. Listed in Annexes X and X to reach regulation. The aim of testing proposal examination is mainly to avoid unnecessary animal testing, especially when the testing involves the use of vertebrate animals. Compliance check of the dossiers. ECHA focuses on eight key endpoints for identification of substances of concern. Genotoxicity Repeated dose toxicity Prenatal developmental toxicity Reproduction toxicity Carcinogenicity Long-term aquatic toxicity Biodegradation Bioaccumulation Substance Evaluation ECHA defines risk-based criteria and then selects the substances that are to be evaluated. The selected substances are listed by ECHA in the Community Rolling Action Plan Corp. Each substance listed in the Corp is assigned to a member state for evaluation. If, after reviewing all data, the evaluating member state considers that the use of substance poses a risk, it may then proceed with follow-up actions to substance evaluation. A proposal for harmonized classification and labeling for carcinogenic mutagenic or toxic to reproduction, respiratory sensitizer or other effects. A proposal to identify the substance as a substance of very high concern, SVHC. A proposal to restrict the substance. Actions outside the scope of reach such as a proposal for EU-wide occupational exposure limits, national measures or voluntary industry actions, SVHC Identification 
substances with the following hazard properties may be identified as SVHCs. Carcinogenic. Mutagenic. Reproductive toxic. Persistent bioaccumulative toxic. Very persistent, very bioaccumulative. Substances with equivalent level of concerns to REST5 groups. The SVHC identification is a 45-day consultation process. Once a substance is identified as an SVHC, it is included in the candidate list. As of the 15th of August 2020, there are 209 SVHCs in the candidate list. Authorization The authorization process aims to ensure that substances of very high concern. SVHCs are progressively replaced by less dangerous substances or technologies where technically and economically feasible alternatives are available. ECHA regularly assesses the substances from the candidate list to determine which ones should be included in the authorization list as a priority. The prioritization is based on toxicity information, wide dispersive use or high volume. After three months long consultation ECHA includes substances in authorization list. Authorization list is also known as Annex 14 of REACH. As of the 15th of August 2020, there are 54 substances in authorization list. Restriction Restrictions are normally used to limit or ban the manufacture, placing on the market, including imports or use of a substance, but can impose any relevant condition, such as requiring technical measures or specific labels. In order to start restriction procedure, a dossier has to be submitted to ECHA, a member state, or HA, at the request of the European Commission, can start restriction procedure. Dossier has to comply with Annex 15 of REACH regulation. If it does, the dossier will be made publicly available for consultation. ECHA's Committee for Risk Assessment RAC, will give its opinion if the suggested restriction is appropriate in reducing the risk to human health or the environment. ECHA's Committee for Socioeconomic Analysis SEAC, opines on socioeconomic impact of restrictions. Within three months of receiving two committees' opinions, the Commission will provide a draft amendment to the list of restrictions in Annex 17 to reach. The final decision is taken involving the member states and the European Parliament. Restricted substances are listed in Annex 17 of REACH regulation. As on 15 August 2020, there are 73 entries in restriction list. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share the video and subscribe to this channel.